Happy Sunday, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me uh, this Sunday for another little cat tutorial. It was an awesome day. I hope you guys also had an awesome day. In the meantime, I was just messing around and just doing a little experimenting before this video. So hopefully this will turn out good. So today I'm going to be doing a simple birthday card and also I'm going to be showing you how else you can use your acrylic stamping pad, whatever you call it. Um, anyways, so the first thing I did basically was to trace this over. Okay, so that's another way instead of using it to apply stamps, you can just use it as a shape um, that you can cut out for your cards. And the reason I did that is because I wanted the center to not be disturbed by what I will be doing. So this is what I wanted. I wanted the center part to basically be available, you know, for whatever I wanted to put in there. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start off by doing a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab... Um, some Distress Oxide ink. Uh, the first one is Mermaid Lagoon. The other one is Festive Berries. And I'm going to just go ahead and do a little squiggly thing. You know, nothing fancy smanchy. And I will also do the other side, which is just, hopefully it will squiggle for me this time. So it's a squiggly, squiggly thing. Okay, so that's a squiggly thing what I call it at least and then I'm going to get just a couple of pieces of uh, what you call it washi tape because I just want to keep this this piece of paper like down so it doesn't move and I'm going to just kind of center it on the paper sorry guys let me just get this in the way so you can see it so I just wanted to get it in the center like this and then I'm going to go ahead and just use what I have here to kind of brush stroke this. I'm going to be using this um, sponge tool. I honestly forgot what it's called but it is what it is. Don't judge me, okay? I just spritzed up those a little bit. I'm just going to shift this a little so that you can see. Whoopsie! so that you can see what I'm doing. The first thing I'm going to do is to just get my brush on here and just kind of play around with it. And then I am going to take my piece and I'm just going to stroke it down like this. Nothing fancy, just light dashes. Okay, I'm just going to do this one and then I'm going to get the red in there as well. Yes, right now you will see that I have the center part and around it I do have like just the brush strokes sort of, um, with the that uh, round foam brush. I have like a bird cage okay so what I'm going to do first where did my birdie go looks like I lost my bird guys oh there it is all right so I want to have this bird cage kind of centered in the middle here. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's like there is this extra light. I'm so sorry guys. Um, some extra light coming in there. Um, that's kind of making it a little fuzzy wuzzy. But anyway, uh, this is what I'm going to do. Put the bird cage in here and then what I want to do is, I want to put the bird in, but I want to kind of, you know, I needed to exact to see exactly where the bird would be. I'm going to use just a little, maybe a pencil, just to kind of um, get the spot, if I can find something. So I'm going to put it in here. So this is where the bird is going to be, right there. I'm going to get my bird right here. Okay, so I have my bird in the middle here and I will use a different color for my bird cage. Uh, colored up and I'm going to place it, let's see, I want to place it in such a way that my bird looks like it's actually sitting on that 
what you might call it on that little ledgy thingy. Now if for any reason your bird cage doesn't come out properly, that's okay. You can always take a a marker, brown marker with the same um, color and just go ahead and get that done. And I will now take a black pen and I will go ahead and just, you know, do some like links. Chains to the top, pretending it's in the ceiling up there. And I also do need a brown because it looks like the bottom of my bird cage just need a little something something in there. So I'll use this and I'll just get this little section here. Okay. So, so far you see here we have the bird in the middle. And now I'm going to go ahead and get the sentiment put in. It says hopping in. To wish you a happy birthday. Now I hope that I'm sorry there was a, a kind of a disconnect with the the video. I do apologize. I'm just looking for a nice way to put this. So let's go ahead and put it just kind of underneath. Just gentle pressure, no rocking. So hopping into. And then the rest will be wish you a happy birthday. Okay, guys, I am back. So I just trimmed this down just a little bit so that I can have it on the front of this card like this. I am going to go ahead and add my adhesive on the back. It's very simple. And again, you're using your, your stamping block to create the center that you want. Just stamp it onto any piece of paper and cut it out and then you kind of have a different pattern. You know, whether you have a square or a, whatever shape your block is, it's entirely up to you. But I wanted to show you how you can also use your, um, your block in order to do some kind of a center for your cards. Okay, guys, so this is it. This is a beautiful but simple card, and I shall talk to you guys next week. Bye.